All right, let's look at one last example of a complete hypothesis test, this time using proportion. So some researchers claim that vitamin D is actually not a vitamin, but more like a hormone, and that it regulates uh, immune system function. So a study was conducted to determine if 2,000 IUs of vitamin D daily would decrease the proportion of people that experience more than one cold annually. Uh, out of uh, 500 people in the study, 83 experienced more than one cold in the one-year study. CDC estimates each year that 19% uh, of all individuals experience more than one cold. Uh, doing a hypothesis test at alpha equal 1 to determine if vitamin D decreases the proportion of individuals uh, that experience more than one cold per year. So we want to decrease the proportion from the accepted here. So that's our HA. So um, P less than 0.19 would be our alternative. That's not the case. P is greater than or equal 0.19. So there's our null alternative. Uh, let's see here. Uh, in our sample, we had out of 500 people, that's N. So N is 500. Um, 83 experienced um, more than one cold. So that's your successes, your X. So then that means that your um, P prime is going to be 83 divided by 500. So let's compute that. So 83 divided by 500, 0.166. So determine the distribution. So we're dealing with proportions. So this is going to be a normal distribution. Compute our test statistic. So here's the equation for test statistic. Our P prime is the 0.166 minus P0 is what you're testing against in the null hypothesis, 0.19. And then we're dividing by square root 0.19. 1 minus 0.19 over the 500. So let's compute that on the calculator. So I'm going to do alpha y equal enter to get my horizontal fraction 0.166 minus 0.19 on top. Downstairs we need a square root and then another alpha y equal enter. And then we got 0.19, and then parentheses 1 minus 0.19. Close it up. And then in the denominator, 500. Negative 1.37. So. We need to then sketch and determine our p-value. So that negative 1.37 would be about right here on the distribution. The p-value is the area past that. And this is a less than one-tailed, so we only need that one side. So that's our p-value. So our p is going to be um, normal CDF. And our lower cutoff would be negative infinity. We'll use negative 10,000. Our upper bound, negative 1.37. And we are dealing with z-scores here, so 0, 1 for mean standard deviation. Go ahead and put that in the calculator. So second variables, normal CDF number 2. Uh, let's see here, negative. 10,000, upper negative 1.37, and then we can paste it, enter 0 0.0853. Now we compare that to our alpha, alpha is 0 0.01, so our P which is 0 0.0853 is greater than 0 0.01, which is our alpha. So we do not reject. That's this case here. 
to not reject H0. And what does it mean if we do not reject it? That means we're going to accept that as true, um, that P is greater than or equal 0.19. Um, so there's not sufficient evidence to conclude P less than 0.19. So there is not sufficient evidence to conclude P is less than 0.19. So it doesn't appear that it's decreasing colds in this particular study. It could be that it really is the case and you know maybe our sample was uh, not not good enough. Maybe it was not big enough sample. Maybe there's too much variation. Yeah. So you always want to repeat these, um, usually these medical studies. And we can check this on the TI-84 using STAT test one prop Z test. Let's go ahead and do that. So STAT tests and then one prop Z test right here. One proportion Z test is number five. And so let's see, we're testing against 0.19. That's our P0. Our successes here were, uh, let's see, what were those? 83 out of 500. So X is 83, N is 500. Uh, we are doing a lower tail test, so less than P0. And uh, why don't we go ahead and do a draw? So there's our p-value on the left, just like we drew it. It's telling us z 1.368 negative. We got we rounded. That's what we got. And then 0857 for our p, we got 0853. Again, you may be off a few digits in the last decimal place. Not a problem. It's just rounding error. Uh, but we still have the same conclusion. That's bigger than 0 0.01. It's also bigger than 0 0.05. So um, we. We don't reject. This is not a statistically significant result.